Live from balmy New Britain, Connecticut and Dietrich Gymnasium, it's Northeast Conference Women's Basketball. A great matchup coming your way tonight. Undefeated in the conference, the first place Brian Bulldogs visiting the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils. Here comes Bryant. They will push the ball. Klein, ball fake, drives off glass. That's a great move. And Central Connecticut wants to talk about it. An early 8-2 lead for Bryant. Top of the key. Now Rucker down low, back to that right hand again. She's got yeah, eight goal yeah. scores. Yeah. Blue Devils not doubling down that time. The veteran takes advantage of the sophomore. And there's the and veteran the taking it to the basket on the other end. Camden Musgrave, the sophomore guard. She has nine. High screen. Hand it off. Open three. Got it. Kiana Patterson, the triple. And we're all tied. 18. Back outside. Patterson into the lane. Epps, the three. Got it. Oh, that was a great look by Patterson. She was off balance. Rucker, guarded well by Malone. Open three for Bailey. That one falls, and Brian's back up top. Gets it in. Quick shot from the baseline by Epps over the backboard. No good. They got the shot off. And at the half, the Bulldogs with a two-point lead, 29-27. What a great play by the little point guard. Open three for Winder. That one falls. The triple, her first in the game. And the Bulldogs open up a five-point lead. Last season, so she's logged a ton of minutes for this team. Shot clock turned off. Open three for Winder. Her second in the half. And the lead's cut back down to five. On the move are the Blue Devils. Two seconds. Epps, tough floater, gets it to fall. And she got it off. That's going to count. That's a momentum builder right now. You think Wilder has the answer. Epps, great job knowing how much time left in that third quarter. 11, she has eight points in half number two, a pair of threes in that layup, and then a steal. That's Winder, no one's gonna catch her. Lefty layup, and all of a sudden the lead is back down to the three. Miller goes down, she's okay, gets back up. Winder, the triple, got it. Third three of the half for Winder. And Bryant has opened up the floor. So They're doing a nice job. She hasn't been able to score, but she's done a great job on the boards. Olander, the hook shot. And Olander's yeah, starting to come Olander. alive. She's got four, both baskets here in quarter number four. They'll let the clock run out. The shot clock is turned off. And the Bryant Bulldogs will improve to 10-0, the only undefeated team in Northeast Conference play. They stay in first place. Central Connecticut State will drop to five and five in the conference, eight and 13 overall. And they are right smack in the middle in the mix trying to get that home game in the first round of the NEC tournament. We come back, we'll hear from our Bear player of the game right after this on ESPN3. Brianna Rucker, an excellent game, seven of 12 from the field, 13 rebounds, 23 points. She is with our own Pam Rucker as long with their head coach, Mary Burke. Coach, you talked about being in a unique position and being in first place, target on your back. Talk about that comeback, Central with the eight-point lead going into that fourth quarter. Yeah, you know, it was a gutsy performance for us in the, in the fourth quarter. Played hard. We had trouble shooting the ball and, you know, really got back to playing some defense. We made good shots and obviously went through Bree, and, and she carried us down the stretch. I want to talk about that. Bree really struggled. They did a nice job with her, held you scoreless in that third quarter. Talk about how she stayed involved in the basketball game. Yeah, I mean, she does so many other things other than scoring. You know, we, we've talked about this before. She's very multidimensional, defensively rebounding besides scoring, and so she draws a lot of attention. Other players get looks. Um, she's very unselfish. So, you know, the fact that maybe she wasn't putting the ball through the basket, she was responsible for probably helping the ball other ways. Absolutely she was, and let's bring her in. We talked about you all night, and I know you've got certainly high expectations this year. Talk about how your teammates rallied tonight against a very scrappy Central Connecticut State team. You know, we just stayed together. Um, we were down, we were struggling, but it was that team unity and coming together and holding each other responsible. Um, not one person felt the need to do it. Um, there was five people out there. We have other people on the bench and it was just the bench getting involved, everybody on the court getting involved and just having that confidence that we could do it. Everybody made a lot of big plays and I know coach puts a lot of expectation on you seniors and I know she's got a weekend at a time philosophy. Now you're going out to that Western Pennsylvania trip, Robert Moore, St. Francis U. Thoughts on this weekend? You know, it's, we're going to take it one day at a time. Um, it's a big weekend. 
Um, it's always a big weekend, but we have to continue to stay together and continue to focus one day at a time, one game at a time. We get it done every day in practice, and we just keep it moving from there. 11th double-double today, John, for Brian Rucker. Great job, as always. Back to you. For Pam Roker, I am John Schmelk. To watch this game entirely on replay, as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. The Bryant Bulldogs defeat the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils 65-53. We'll see you next time, everybody. Have a great night.